Well, good morning. Day two. The end of yesterday was a little bit rough. Um, but, you know, uh, it's always difficult to start. So let's get going here with our weigh-in and see what it says. Right there, it's good. All right, let's see. Three thirty five point eight down two point seven pounds. That's ridiculous. Fat forty four point four, muscle fifty two point nine, visceral fat eleven point one. And that's the weather for today. Air quality moderate. Oh, I guess I didn't stay on it for the Okay. Well, it's to be expected. So when you have so much weight to lose, the first few days are kind of crazy because it feels like, oh my God, you lost two pounds. But it's mostly um, water that I've been retaining. So it's not that unusual. I've been through this many times before where the first few weeks are just, first few days really, just you're losing a lot of weight. But anyway, all right, at least we didn't, gain but honestly that doesn't really mean anything this doesn't really mean anything so we keep going but yeah the, um, yesterday was a little bit rough the sugar addiction is strong and it just so okay let's just let's just get through it one, one day at a time okay so yesterday breakfast wasn't bad but i feel like it can be better and i think that there was something in there that didn't quite agree with the other flavors. Um, so I'm gonna try something a little bit differently today and see if we can figure out a more pleasant breakfast. Also, um, I measured my metabolism this morning with Lumen as, as part of the deal. And I had a score of one. So it's like the best one and not only that, but it said that I am burning 90, 95% fat, 5% carbs. So that's like probably the best score that I've ever gotten. So it means that we did good yesterday. Um, we were under in carbs. Um, I, I could have eaten more carbs, but um, I'm guessing that's what's helping um, this morning being in fat burn, which is what we want to do. So... Um, it has given, it has, it adjusted my macros for today. So I'm supposed to have 14 portions of carbs. So it's higher than yesterday was only 10 and then six of protein and 6.5 of fat. So, um, I was thinking that maybe I'll add some fruit, some like frozen berries or cherries. I don't know what I have in the freezer, freezer, but, um, that'll give us a little more carbs and I don't know, maybe make it a little bit tastier. So. Uh, I'm also thinking I'm going to do the daily green separately just to get a taste for that separately too. All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. found some cherries. So we're going to make maybe some smaller portions today um, and see if that helps a little bit. So let's start with some cherries in here. Oh, these guys are very frozen. Um, and yikes. Ninety. One more. So that's a hundred grams of cherries. Uh, And we'll add it in a minute. Then let's do a 
only two scoops of this. No, let's do one scoop of this guy. Of the zero. So one scoop is supposed to be 95, uh, 45 grams. Forty-two, just a, a tiny bit more. Forty-seven. All right, whatever. Okay. So forty-seven grams. We have a hundred of the cherries. Forty-seven of the black edition Huel. And. Now let's do, let's see, let's do the protein. So this guy is, one scoop is 29 grams. So I guess we can go for the full amount. Let's zero, yeah, zero this out. Same thing. The scoop is wrong. It's supposed to be 29 grams, but it keeps giving me 35, 36 this time. Okay. So 36 of this. Um, let's do the flexi joints. And it's supposed to be one scoop is five grams. Five grams. This one is, the scoop is perfect. Um, let's add the daily super blend to it as well. This one's supposed to be two scoops for 66 grams. So let's go with one scoop and see what does this. So it's supposed to be 33 grams. 37, okay. A little bit more than we wanted in there. All right. We're gonna have this guy, the daily green separately from this, so. All right, we got breakfast. Okay, now let's make the greens. So they sent this little bottle for it. So let's have them separately, see if that, if that does it. Cause they don't smell bad. Um, actually it smells, it smells kind of good. So it's supposed to be one level scoop. It's supposed to be 15 grams. All right. So 15 grams. Nice. Now I'm going to try something that I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to use uh, lime sparkling water. And you're supposed to add how much? 250. Let's say that that's about 250 because the bubbles. Close this up and let's go to town, baby. Oh yeah, this needs more water. Okay. 
It's like a shake weight. All right. Moment of truth. Are we going to like this or not? It looks very green. Very green, so. What should we try first? Um, let's go with the shake first. Moment of truth. <sighs> Smells fruity. Oh, so much better. Just adding the cherries. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't like uh, milkshakes, but this is what I think, you know, a milkshake would be. It's just fruity, chocolatey, a little thick. Very easy to drink. All right, now let's try the greens. Ah, uh, this doesn't really taste like anything, actually. It's pretty good. I wonder what was tasting weird then, yesterday. You know, this tastes like really watered down pineapple juice. But this is pretty good. No issues here. I think yesterday, so I left out the, the cocoa powder and I left out the collagen. And I'm thinking that it had a lot of collagen, I remember, because it was like four tablespoons of collagen. All right, so we'll figure out if we can just kind of mix it in little by little throughout the day instead of just putting it all in the morning. But yeah, this is lovely. Yay, day two. Things are improving. This is definitely much better. Okay, <clears throat> so while we eat here, let's take a look at um, so this are the numbers for this breakfast. So these two, so this would be 565 calories. So it's a little bit lower than yesterday because the amount is less. But see, I wish that this would give me the actual numbers. Um, no Siri, go away. I'm not talking to you. Uh, it doesn't, it only gives me the portions. So this is three servings of carbs out of the 14 that we have for the day, 2.5 of protein out of the six that we have for the day, so we're almost halfway through our protein um, intake, and only 0 0.5 out of the 6.5 for fat. So that's not very rich in fat, and we're gonna have to figure out how to increase our fat intake in the morning. But we did need to up our carb intake a little bit more. Because basically what Lumen says is that we need to develop metabolic flexibility so that our body is burning carbs when it gets them and not only like stay in fat burning mode. Um, and that's what we're trying to get to. So it's not about having no carbs, but according to this and the reason we're using it to measure the metabolism is because we want to make sure that our body is flexible enough that it burns carbs when it gets them and then, you know, gets through them and switches back to fat burn, so. All right, uh, it doesn't tell me exactly how many, I wish that it would give me the actual numbers, the actual, actual numbers. Okay, we'll find a way to figure it out later on, but yeah, breakfast, day two, we're good. Okay, so it's time for some lunch. Um, breakfast today was a little bit smaller than yesterday and I'm starting to feel it again. And I also got to that point where, you know you should eat, but food is not really that exciting. 
And so you're not really motivated to eat, which, you know, then you don't do it and more time goes by and then you get hungrier and it just, that's when bad things happen. So um, I'm gonna try this today. Um, it's another product made by Huel. Uh, Huel should be sponsoring me because, um, <laughs> but no, in reality, it's just, um, they've um i've never tried this one before it's like a like an instant noodle instant ramen thing this one is um korean barbecue but again um keeping with the whole thing that huel does it's supposed to be nutritionally complete so uh, i'm going to be adding a few things to it just to kind of boost it up a little bit so i'm going to add two eggs um to make it a little more uh, a little more protein and a little bit more fat and I still I'm way below my fat intake for the day so I'm just gonna add some olive oil uh, I don't know if it's gonna change probably gonna change the um, flavor a little bit but it's okay yeah we'll see how we do with this this is what it looks like um, and it's supposed to be 400 calories in this guy so it smells good right, let's add the olive oil. So I'm gonna be adding 46 grams of olive oil. Okay, here we go. That is a lot of oil. Ooh, went a little over there, 48 grams. And we're gonna, come on, gonna add two eggs to this bad boy. And these are the pasture raised eggs. So. All right. Let's see how we do. All right, I think it's been about five minutes. We get, uh, this is what it looks like. Oh, hot. I can see a little bit of the egg that we put in there. Make sure that this is all mixed. All right. So this one's supposed to be the Korean barbecue. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Again, <clears throat> with these kind of like instant ramen, you're just expecting the sodium, you know, just salty. And this is not, it's more balanced, but it's tasty. Hmm. Definitely has that Korean barbecue ish. I don't know that the olive oil is the best, <laughs> but it's okay. It's perfectly fine. All right. So this guy is, let's see, let's look at the numbers. This thing is 945 calories. It is giving us four servings of carbs, 1.5 of protein, and four of fat. So mostly carbs and fat. Because for the day, we are at seven out of 14 carbs, four out of six protein, and 4.5 out of 6.5 fat. So we're still gonna have to do a little more. Again, I don't know if we're gonna get to all the carbs today, because I'm trying to do it. I think it may be like, I'll get some like berries or something tomorrow just to meet that carb intake, but 
All right. This is good. This is good. All right, I'm going to eat this, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a problem to figure out. I'm still under for protein and fat, but I don't really feel like making something else. So um, I'm going to complete the macros. I'm still not going to hit carbs today, but um, I can hit protein and fat if I have a macadamia bar that's made by um, Blueprint, a nutrition bar by Huel, and have one, uh, two servings of the complete protein. So that's what I'm going to do that. That's basically going to be like my dinner, and that'll complete the fat and the protein, and we'll still be under in carbs, 8 out of 14, because we were supposed to have more. We'll see how that affects uh, tomorrow, and then based on that, I think, you know, getting the... Um, berries or you know something like that like one of those uh good carbs that we can use to complete this so we're gonna go with that okay before we actually eat let's take a lumen measurement and see how we're doing in terms of it i have a slight headache here so let's see okay all right so let's do this before eating. Inhale deeply through your lumen. Hold your breath. Exhale in three, two, one. So it looks like we are using some of the carbs from the day. It says you're burning both carbs and fat. And we're at 55% fat, 45% carbs. Good. Well, that's what you want to see. We want this to be up and down throughout the day. So um, I also decided to add some frozen cherries, so uh, 50 grams of frozen cherries to the um, complete protein. And I also added um, 30 grams of honey, just to see if we can up the carb count for this. So, all right, well, let's go eat it. Well, here we are. So this is our final shake. It's a little bit um, more watery than the other ones, less thick. And we have the complete nutrition bar from Huel and the chocolate coated macadamia bar from Blueprint. Uh, this one has two servings of the Huel complete protein. And like I said, I added uh, 50 grams of the cherries and 30 grams of honey because it didn't, um, it just added more carbs to try to meet the uh, carb intake for the day. And we're still going to be under. So we're meeting our six servings of protein in our 6.5 servings of fat, but we're only 10 out of 14 for the carbs. So that's basically it. This will be it for food today. Um, like I said, I have a little bit of a headache, but again, this is all adjusting and definitely sugar withdrawal. So it's okay. One day at a time, right? All right. See you guys.